Yeah, there it is. The way it jogs in. We're oh, right that's it. That's now. it. Yeah, there we are. So for those of you who are just tuning in and watching, we are on the SS Coast Trader, torpedoed and sunk by the Imperial Japanese Navy submarine I-26 on June 7th, 1942. And this is the impact. This is the torpedo hit, sank the vessel in 40 minutes. All of the crew made it off. So we're um, bringing around to the torpedo site to get a look at it. Um, we have done a survey of the outside hull of the ship to look for weak spots and um, we were interested in looking at how well the ship's hull was holding up and to hold that oil in. What we would like to do is establish how far aft this blast hole is actually located on the ship. So with you lined up on it now, if you could just rise up slowly so we can get high enough to the deck so we can figure out where we are we're just trying to yeah we're, we're trying to figure out we believe the the blast hole might actually be further forward than was reported that instead of at hold number four it's closer to hold number three so very well to rise up so we can get a landmark well and this was a world war ii contact torpedo which does a lot of damage, but nothing compared to the science behind uh, the way a torpedo works now. Oh, yeah. Um, can you speak a little bit to how how you can tell it's torpedo? Or just the amount of damage? or? In, in Back in these days, torpedoes would just impact into the side of their target and explode. Nowadays, torpedoes are designed to explode some like 15 or 20 feet under the keel of the ship and create a bubble that breaks the ship's back. Oh. It does significantly more damage. Yeah, this is a Japanese type 92 torpedo, 23 feet, 5 inches long, 661 pound charge. Wow. 7,000 meter range at 30 knots. Shoot. An electric Jeez. torpedo. Wow. It really is Ripped a big it up. hole. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. One shot. There's a porthole. That looks like the leftover pieces of a capstan. Yeah, this is, this is we're coming up right, right at hole number three. Well, like they say, there's two types of ships in the ocean, submarines and targets. Targets. <laughs> Would you all, if you can, zoom in on that hull section as you're moving? No need to stop. I'm looking at the rivet hole, the rivet hole, that little plate that's broken for you. Uh, will you zoom in on that, Mary? And I I'll will. Try and, uh, yeah, it's a, yeah, you can see the popped holes. Yeah, it's a good, that's a good shot, if, uh, as you all can, as you zoom in. It'd be great. So the Coast Trader is a metal ship made of steel and um, riveted. That's one of the things that our scientists are looking at is the corrosion of both the steel seams and the rivet points. What next? We want to want to take a take a close look at the impact point. A uh, closer look at what? At at the impact point. Oh, Roger. With the blast hole. Dead ahead. Wow, you see, it's really heavily corroded there. Yeah. It's another thin spot right there. It takes an awful lot of force to rip metal like that. Yeah. So this torpedo couldn't have been very far below the surface. Uh, Captain Sanders, maybe you can answer this. Um, once the ship was sinking, um, how fast would it go to the bottom? Well, this ship, uh, after she was torpedoed, she... It took her 40 minutes to sink, so there was time for the crew to abandon ship. Although, uh, with the damage, apparently a few were suffering results of the ammonia from the refrigeration system, but everybody got off the ship. So, 40 minutes of time, ample time to get off before she, she went down and settled on the bottom. I can't, I can't imagine what it would have been like to have been sailing along and then suddenly have your your hatch is blown off, you you know that you were being hunted, and then the question becomes, well, okay, now what? And for all of us who go to sea, of course, you all know our drills with our life jackets and our survival suits, and we go through the drill, and can you only imagine what it must have been like when it was real? Yeah. There were most likely some injuries if the hatch was blown 40 feet high. We've got one last request on the dive from you all. Is if possible, we'd like to 
go one last time towards the stern and get a look at the stern and the damage that's there before we finish up. Okay, um, we could head down there. We're, that's not very far away, right? Yeah, yeah 20 right. meters. A little 25 for Okay, I'm going to back yeah. off and square up. So we'll do a 170 <coughs> move.